Welcome back to more of the Fire Emblem Three Houses Blind Run. Last time... Well, last time we set out to get revenge for our father's death against presumably recurring Antagon... Oh wait, Kronya's dead already! Yeah, that was a little premature in my opinion, but now Byleth has become Bylothus and has been fused with the Goddess and now has superpowers. Well, even more superpowers than he previously did. Also, he's Mastered Thief, so I can actually promote him now. Part 1. White Clouds. Pegasus Moon. Throne of Knowledge. The northern lands are enveloped in a bitter cold, and frigid winds are carried across the sea to the south of Adrestia. When feather white snow falls on Fodlin's locket, the fort looks as delicate as a pearl. However, beneath that snowy blanket, her throat is more treacherous than ever. Interesting they should talk about that when we actually did the paralogue with Fodlin's locket last time. Is it just me or does Byleth move a little bit faster on the loading screens now? Rhea, please talk to me. What are you hiding? Is Byleth your son? What is the meaning of how that one looks? It is almost as though... As I said, there is nothing of which to speak. For now. At the end of this month... I read Gerald's diary. I happened upon it in his room. Oh, uh, <laughs> well, yeah, that's not good. You're probably going to get executed for that. What? In it, he stated the reason for his departure. The baby, thought to have died in the fire, has returned to us. Gerald realized that you had done something to the child and decided to flee. What did you do to that baby, Rhea? Nothing questionable, I should hope. Said it enough. They will be here shortly. No more, I beg of you. I will take our dear professor to the holy tomb. There, I should be able to see our dearest wishes to fruition. Well, that sounds really ominous. When I was young, I heard her voice there. I'm sure of it. You may enter. I have been awaiting your arrival, professor. Now that you have received sacred power from the goddess, there is somewhere you must pay a visit to at once. You must go to the holy tomb so that you may receive a divine revelation from the goddess. Okay, so you're basically trying to make him Seros 2.0. The holy tomb is where the goddess sleeps. This monastery was originally built for the purpose of protecting that hallowed temple. Huh, isn't the, like, the main, like, St. Peter's Basilica in the Vatican actually built on top of his tomb? Only a select few know of it, but there is a legend about Seros and the Holy Tomb. Saint Seros, the first soul to be gifted power from the goddess, received her revelation there. Well, presumably said revelation is not going to be kill everyone, because Sotha seems pretty nice. She was told that it was her sacred duty to save the people of Tholdlin and that she must use her power wisely in order to lead them. The words that were handed down to Seros from the goddess will likely fall upon your ears as well. Prepare yourself to go at once. There may you find out why you were blessed with such power. There will be a ceremony at the Holy Tomb. It is then that you will receive the goddess's revelation. You may share this mission with your students. It is there that you will receive the route with bad map design and even worse character balance. It is said that when Seros received the revelation, she had holy warriors by her side protecting her. So, prequel game or prequel DLC? I'd still be really interested in the potential, like, Tellius prequel that has, um, like, that stars Altina and the others. Your students who have followed you and fought alongside you through the darkest of times, are well suited to stand by you for the ceremony. Of course, as the leader of the Church of Seros, I will be by your side as well. Why do I get this feeling that you're gonna die? 
The Holy Tomb is a sacred temple that is sealed off from the rest of the world. There is nothing to fear. Well, we know there's going to be a battle there, so obviously there's everything to fear. Even if something were to happen, I am more than capable of protecting myself. And you couldn't even hurt her anyway! Oh no! If they attack her again, she might take zero damage again! Oh wait! Much has changed, but your duty has not wavered. Steal your mind for the ceremony and prepare your students well. Why do I get the feeling the Flame Emperor is going to try and kill Rhea? Yes! Okay, ah, uh, obviously tea party. I know I've already done a tea party with her, but this is her birthday. And we know what her, her favorite tea is. Thanks. Whoa, you've got my favorite tea. Kind of interesting that we're getting her birthday right after Byloth turned into Bylothus. Oh, wow, thanks. By the way, what do you think of Byloth's new hair dye? It's totally just a dye and nothing suspicious at all. Everyone's so serious all the time. Boring. <laughs> yeah, I feel like I know Hilda pretty well at this point. Huh? Okay, what what should I do for a birthday present? Uh obviously not that. Not that. I don't think she's a devout believer. That is her favorite flower, apparently. I know I gave this to her last time, though. I love it! Thank you so much! Thanks for the tea. I hope you'll invite me again. So, yeah, double perfect tea time. Oh, no group task on Saturday. Oh, Hanneman's birthday. Well, more tea! Present moon tea? Well, Ikutsuki's name has moon in it, so maybe. My room works better for me, but I am willing to compromise for today. <laughs> After all, that's where all your blood is stored. By the way, your blood has now become a hundred times more valuable. Please give me more of it. Thank you. Delightfully warming. <laughs> yeah, I get the feeling that's not your favorite. What? Plans for the future? Yes, yes. Indeed. Uh, no, I don't think that's a good idea. <laughs> yes, yes. What? Cats? The oh no, he would hate that. <laughs> uh, Photon's future? Yes, yes. Yeah, I thought so. Since I have never found out the secret of your birth. I am exceptionally intrigued. Why do I get the feeling we're going to be finding that out very soon? Nod. Uh, nod? Oh! So Thank close. For a wonderful time, Professor. So close. Oh, he didn't even get- he didn't get charm from that! <laughs> Take the sort of- Oh! Well, I was right about Plot Bay's promotion. Whoa! A new path to tread. Okay then, that's definitely not the look I was expecting. So does that mean Byleth is the first main character to have a Plot Bay's promotion since Ike? I'm pretty sure, yeah. Although technically Micaiah was the last one to get a plot based promotion in Radium Dawn, so yeah, probably since Micaiah, but still. Um, yeah, because like all of the like Awakening or since Awakening, main characters have always promoted with seals, but yeah. I guess, you know, Byleth also has other stuff, but yeah. That's funny, because I was actually gonna turn you into a hero, but um Hmm. 
Okay, not great. Oh, you do have Sword Fairy in that form, though. And, uh, you get less charismatic as a hero or sword master. Oh, I guess because that class seems to give you more charisma. Yeah, that is... That is not the promoted outfit from Byleth I was expecting at all. But I'm sure we're going to get an alt of this in Heroes eventually, and as of recording this video, we haven't got one yet, so... It'd be really funny if, um, if we actually did at some point. So Byleth can finally use all that white magic that he was learning. And, yeah. Hmm... A masterclass is... Mm, they're better in some regards. Wow, that reduces your stats by a lot. But he's still in his basic outfit there. I kind of wonder what the, what the Enlightened One class was called in Japanese. Wow, how fitting that he mastered Thief just before he got a plot-based new class. I think, honestly, Byleth's got his plot-based promotion. Let's promote Dimitri to Paladin. I guess more paladin exam questions. Um. Hmm. Again, it's just stuff about being broken. That's the only thing that comes into my mind. <laughs> Good results. Plus two magic for a class that can't even use magic. Okay, Annette can now safely switch to Warlock. Why do we still have the sad music? How do you like the new me? Let me guess, you still can't ace support with Hilda? Nope! Felix and Annette. And that's all. Well, if that's the only support we have access to, I may as well do it now. Hello, Felix. So, uh, it was your turn to clean out the greenhouse, right? Yes. Speaking of green, our professor is suddenly very different, wouldn't you say? Well, I went ahead and took care of it. I also cleaned up the warehouse. Why? I just wanted to help you out. So that... <laughs> okay, fine. I'm bribing you. So you'll forget. Forget what? Are you really gonna make me say it? Before, in the greenhouse, I want you to forget what you saw and heard. If you agree to forget about it, I'll take your shift in the stables. Do we have a deal? No, thanks. No? But that's not okay! You have to forget about it, right this moment! I can't. It's permanently etched in my memory. <laughs> a mountain of sweets, as well as steaks and cakes. Stacks of them, apparently. I'm also intrigued by those bear and swamp beastie songs you <laughs> mentioned. Ah, and I've been meaning to ask about the move that went along with crumbs and yums. <laughs> Was that fencing footwork? Oh, stop it, Felix! You're a villain! Hmm? You think you're so funny? Keeping a straight face while mocking my singing and dancing? Well, you have to forget about it. Please. What if I make you a nice steak dinner? Yeah, yes, the exploding pan steak, his favorite. You like steak, don't you, Felix? It'll be yummy. This isn't about steak. I just... Fine, be stubborn. Tell the whole world for all I care. I'll just learn to live with the funny looks I'll get from everyone. They'll all say, there goes that Annette, the girl with the funny ideas about food. You're just the evilest of villains, Felix! I'll hate you forever and ever! <laughs> oh, I was just trying to be nice. <laughs> Funny ideas about food. Even the bullies in her head are ridiculous. <laughs> I really don't understand that girl. Why well, do I get the feeling some people ship them, but... Uh, I don't know. I mean, I was gonna ship Annette with Ash, and then I discovered Ingrid and Ash, but yeah. And they also can't get to an A yet, either! <laughs> No paralogs too. Maybe I just need to recruit more people. Because I get the feeling that I'm running out of time for, um... Wait a minute, 2 slash 22, that's when a lot of these paralogs expired. Oh boy, am I running out of time for pre-time skip paralogs? I might be, and that's not good. Huh. Maybe this week I should be going all in on trying to recruit some people. Even though... Okay, so... Hmm... But I'm, I'm exploring. Anyway, but... Oh. Yes, you currently are her, so... No quests? Right then. Well, that means less for me to do. So different. You're still our professor in there, right? <laughs> yes. 
Apparently, having differently colored hair makes you look entirely different. Did anything else change besides your hair and eyes? Are your arms bigger? How do your abs look? Really? You gotta teach me how to do that. You know, if you want to check out how his abs look, ah, uh, oh, I can't get to the certifications menu here. Just look at what he looks like as a brawler, I guess, or you know, grappler. In town earlier, there seemed to be more people around than usual. Let me guess, there were people yelling, "Ding dong, Kronya's dead." Is there some festival this month that I'm forgetting about? Yep, the crazy psycho villain is dead festival. What? What? Hurry up and cage the wild boar. Look, he's losing his grip. Even in his swordplay, he's getting sloppy. If he keeps progressing like this, he's going to get himself killed. Yeah, Dimitri is definitely going downhill at this point. Kranya, Solon, they're dead, but we still have a glut of enemies. Okay, so Solon is dead. Good to know. We still have to take down the Death Knight and the Flame Emperor. Our next battle is fast approaching. I'm ready for it. What if we actually fight the Flame Emperor next? Professor, please. If he hears it from you that he needs to rest, perhaps his highness will listen. He's exaggerating. He thinks my color is off and that rest will cure all. I have a headache, but that's just from lack of sleep. It's not going to stop me from completing this month's mission. It's not from the murderous voices in my head, don't worry. The professor agrees. Please rest, at least until the task is at hand. I won't. Even if I tried, it's not like I would get any decent sleep. It would only be a waste of time. <sighs> In any case, we won't let you down this month, Professor. You can rely on us. Yeah, I see what's going on here. Dimitri started to figure out that Edelgard's probably the Flame Emperor, and he's like, oh no, my childhood friend is actually my hated enemy. So, like, where's Claude's position in all this, honestly? That's why I'm kind of interested to play the Golden Deer route. Edelgard and Hubert have been busier than usual, constantly coming and going, in and out of Garrick Mach. Perhaps they are doing something in the Empire. Yes, I wonder! As the legitimate heir of the Iyer family, I have not heard anything about it. But if it were significant, I am sure my father would have told me. So... So... Ferdinand's father, apparently, was one of the people who experimented on Edelgard for crest reasons. This is revealed in her C-plus support on the other route. So, what if he's, uh, Talas? Noble who- oh, Lorenz was here last week, wasn't he? Yeah, pretty sure that's Lorenz. Your hair! And your eyes! What happened to you? You didn't lose something as a consequence of gaining these powers, did you? No. I gained everything. I see. Well, that makes me feel better. But still, be careful. Well, I mean, I guess he did lose his name. He is now Bilothus. He'll be known as that forevermore. Someone who doesn't often wear... Ink... No, Ingrid wasn't there last time, was she? How are you, Professor? Did Hanuman make his I will do no harm speech or promise this won't hurt a bit when he asked to study you? <laughs> Both? I have a bit of research I'd like to perform. Nothing so crass as Hanuman's poking, prodding, and drawing of blood. No, I wish to investigate crest power itself. Crest power must have some kind of limit, right? Yeah, random chance, apparently. Lady Rhea says any limits must be the protection of the goddess, but that doesn't quite answer it for me. Hmm. <laughs> It's like you're an entirely different person. <laughs> really? He just he barely looks any different. Come on. <laughs> I guess you're right. If I look hard, I can still tell it's you. Long ago, St. Seros was gifted with a divine revelation from the goddess, as well as incredible power. Is that what happened to you too, Professor? No way! The Professor transformed before receiving any kind of divine revelation, right? Still, I wonder... Does the fact that you've changed really mean you've been granted some kind of power? If that's the case, then what sort of revelation can be gained from the ritual? Yes, hopefully it is not you must kill Edelgard for the good of the world or something. I'm guessing the revelation will just be a gentle reminder to use this new power to save the people of Fodlin. What else is there to say? That's what I was thinking at first, but no, I get the feeling it's going to be something a lot more ominous. Like, we know that Sothis is nice, but what if someone else has hijacked the revelation to say, like, You, I am definitely the goddess. You 
will kill everyone. Also, build a jacuzzi and they will come. I don't know who's gonna get that. You don't anyway. actually believe we're going to hear the voice of the goddess, do you? Are you available for recruitment yet? Sometimes. I find myself thinking I should leave Garrig Mark and return to my home. Where I should have been all alone. Ignore me. I'm sorry. It's a silly thing. An old man's ramblings and nothing more. I hear that Lady Rhea will accompany you for this month's task. Shame if something were to happen to her. She's the pillar that supports the hearts of Fodland's people. Her safety is paramount. I hope there are no complications. Oh, no recruitment yet. <sighs> Monica. No, Kranya. Kranya is dead. And so is Solon, by your hand. Taking vengeance with your own hand. I'm sure Gerald would be proud. Me? I prefer to take vengeance with my foot. What? When you changed, even the other professors were taken completely by surprise. There's a ritual at the Holy Tomb this month, isn't there? I wonder what'll happen with that. I'm sure you'll be alright. But don't lose sight of who you really are, okay? However you may change, and whatever new power goes along with those changes, you'll still be the same person deep down. Remember that. Well, uh... You're not even reacting to the fact that, that um, Geralt's killer is dead. Hey, in our battle last month, we really cut the enemy down to size. But there are other enemies we have yet to hunt down, not least the Flame Emperor. Once we've crushed them all, we can return to our peaceful lives at the monastery. Oh, if only it were that simple. It will happen soon. I have a feeling something big is coming. Yep, I have that feeling too! <laughs> And I have a distinct feeling that Dimitri is not going to like it, and he is going to go completely off the deep end. When I first saw you, Professor, with that hair color and that eye color, I thought you looked kind of like Lady Rhea. Like maybe you could be related. I still think they are. I like the way it looks. I wonder if I could change my hair color too. <laughs> maybe if I tried hard enough. If I thought real hard about it, I mean... Now I'm just kind of picturing Cyril after the time skip with like a rainbow mohawk or something. All I need to do is get trapped up in a strange place and then <laughs> escape, right? Just like you did. <laughs> yes, yes, you do that. <laughs> like, although I, now I think about it, the in fact I'm just gonna go ahead and check this to see if is is Gerald here now? Yep. Question mark. Interesting. Yeah, I have a feeling that Geralt's way older than he says he is. Alright, that's what I was saying. So, yeah, um... Noseless Puppets. Oh, I think I know who that is. Pretty sure you were standing here last time and, and you like wood carving. Ah. Alright, oh, I need to check out those other three lost items that I couldn't return last time because they probably belong to knights. In our once it will happen... Hmm. Oh. I had a feeling the weathered cloak was yours. So weird games and not good at magic. What? I hear she's the Hang on a minute. No, that just oh. I was thinking you were trying to be, you know, get to know your daughter, I guess. People who live an inordinately long time, people whose hair changes color, and those odd heroes relics. Is Fodland some mystical land full of inhuman creatures? Well, every Fire Emblem world is. You should see for yourself. I'd recommend exploring west of the Empire. I wonder if we'll ever go there. It's not mine. Nope. Thanks. Ah. How did you know this was mine? I didn't, but um, you were one of the few people I could narrow it down to. I recently had an errand to run. And so I had to pass by the office. I didn't mean to, but I overheard Lady Rhea and Sedith arguing. Actually, it was more like Sedith was interrogating Lady Rhea. Yeah, we kind of overheard a little bit of that too. Yeah, I still wonder, like, Rhea would not have said those kinds of things to Violet if she was not the mother. Oh. Greetings, Professor. Nothing to report. Except for the fact that your hair's changed. Although, I suppose, you are something to report. <laughs> For a moment, I thought you were someone suspicious. Lucky for you, I am quite perceptive. 
It took only that single moment for me to recognize you. Now part of me is imagining this is a D&D game and it's like, roll a perception check. Natural one. You have no idea who this person is. <laughs> the professor went out and got some new power. Why do I get the feeling that one day you'll end up in a Choose Your Legends and you'll get some new power? Professor, you've been granted this power by the goddess herself. Truly, you must be a very special individual. Maybe Saros transformed before receiving her revelation too. Hmm. I haven't heard anything about that before. But her hair color in the opening movie definitely looks suspect. Maybe that part never found its way into the legend? Or maybe it was covered up by someone. It is told that Saros had a revelation, instructing her to use her power for good and to lead the people of Fodland to salvation. Something tells me that that's not the whole story. You know, I just realized something. What if it was really Nemesis? Because Nemesis had the sword of the creator, right? I mean, I know that legends still tell that, but what if it was really Nemesis who received Sothis's power and not Saros? I wonder what sort of revelation you might have, Professor. Hey there. Those students of yours will soon graduate and become unreachable royalty and nobility. Uh, not unreachable. You should show them respect now. You might find yourself out of a job someday. <laughs> that is actually kind of funny. <laughs> no. One look at your students' faces, and it's apparent that would never happen. Even when your kids graduate, I bet they'll still think fondly of you. You'll always be professor to them. And that might make some people really, really angry because it has teacher-student romance undertones. Grounding, afraid of lightning. Huh, my guess is Lascivia, but I don't think she was here before. You're so strong now. I'm starting to understand why you were appointed professor. And that's all you have to say. Uh. What's that? None of those yeah. are your. Oh! Oh! Huh, well, that's ironic. I constantly compare you to Akihiko, and you're actually scared of lightning. That's interesting. Hmm. For me? Come on. Oh, Gilbert C. Okay. I was hoping for Caspar. Oh, I really want to recruit him. Should I try now? I only have a C though, and my brawling is not great. Maybe I'll do a faculty training for brawling and then see if um see if it that makes things any better. Because, yeah, I kind of want Caspar at this point. Oh, yeah, and that thing that I was going to talk about. So, yeah. I'm pretty sure we're coming up on the time skip at this point. And I'm also pretty sure the majority of students that you don't recruit are going to end up fighting and dying after the time skip against your army. Here's the thing, though. Like, many people are probably be imploring me to recruit as many people as I can now just to spare them. But on the other hand... Part of me wants to react to what happens to them if you don't recruit them. So, yeah, a part of me is kind of thinking, I kind of want to say, like, I feel like a lot of post time skip chapters might lose their emotional impact if you've recruited too many people. Like, are they replaced with generic bosses or something? I mean, that, that'd that be kind of, kind of a bit of a mood kill. So, yeah. Yes. You're going to the ritual at the Holy Tomb, right? I hear that a revelation from the goddess is expected. What if she shows herself? Oh, I'll be so jealous. Yeah, so I Ignatz apparently really likes the goddess. Ah, Professor, I'd like to... Yep, you're not ready to recruit. I can't even imagine what it must be like inside the holy tomb. Well, it's probably a grave, that much is for sure. And it's likely underground. Beyond that, who knows? Kind of like when we last fought the Death Knight. I can't help but wonder, though. Just what kind of ritual is this? Hopefully it's not like, now. We will have to sacrifice all of your other students to empower you. So, one other thing that I want to say is at this point, I'm kind of more curious about the Death yes. Knight because, hey. yeah, Yurita has disappeared for months, so it's probably him, but I don't know. I'm actually not 100% sure on who the Death Knight is. I just feel like Yurita is too obvious. And Bridget, we have legends. Stories containing people who have a spirit living inside of them. They are called Persona users. Those spirit people have much strength. They are maybe able to fly in the air or race across the ocean. Hair that shines 
and eyes that glow. They have qualities that are not unlike what you are looking like, Professor. That'd be kind of cool if we actually got to see and or fight someone like that later. <laughs> I can't fly. Do not have doubt, Professor. The powers you have are like the powers of the legends. So... Training has butts? Nope, yeah. So, yeah, one thing that I've heard is that a lot of people like recruiting her because she's generally one of the hey, no. more overall generally yes. like members of the Black Eagles, but it's kind of hard because she likes flying, which is really hard to train on Violet. So hungry. Oh, is that you, Professor? Sorry. I'm really not feeling well this month. Even leaving my room for dinner is just too much. It's got nothing to do with your... Um, changes. So, um, don't open the door, please. Okay, so she's apparently scared of people with light green hair. Wait, what's Dorothea doing up? Oh, she's probably talking to Manuela. Yeah, seeing Claude on the map here, it just gets me thinking. Lately, I've been speculating that maybe the Golden Deer were only added later in development. Hey, because there seems to be. Oh, I'm pretty sure who I, I know who that is. Uh, there seems to be, like, this really big, um, like, I have a feeling that's actually Ashes. Um, this really big, like, animosity being developed between, oh, that could also be Ash, though, uh, between Edelgard and Dimitri, and then Claude's just kinda on the sidelines, unrelated to everything else. And then even that, like, Hilda being the only, like, quote-unquote retainer who's actually recruitable on other routes. Ah, professor! Sorry, this will take some getting used to. Your hair and eye color are completely different. You just don't look like yourself anymore. Why is everyone like that? Like, he, everything about him is the same, apart from that. <laughs> of course, you're right. I'm just being silly as usual. Oh, Hanuman. <laughs> Maybe he'd like this? Nope. Huh. Hey, good. I always knew there was something special about you. But you've only gotten more and more extraordinary the longer I've known you. And you've only gotten less and less relevant the more of the story I've played. That transformation was just the beginning, wasn't it? I have a feeling that things will only grow more dire from here on out. This one? Well, pretty sure I know who one of these lost items belongs to. And Lorenz is just outside here. To be honest, I cannot keep up with all that's been happening recently. Monica was actually Kranya. Tomas was actually Solon. Who were these people? What about you, Professor? You were a true ally, yes? Um, not actually for you after the time skip, I'm guessing. Not the most convincing answer you could have given. Still, I simply must take you at your word. Oh, most. Yeah, I thought that was yours. No chance I can recruit you, is there? It's a shame. Nope. Yeah, reason. That's not great. That reminds me. All things considered, this year has been rather terrible. <laughs> as far as the students are concerned, next month is the last one of the school year. Next month, we will hold the graduation ceremony. Though it'll be an understandably subdued affair. Why well, I get the feeling it's going to be invaded. This month, we ask that you carry out your duties as best you can to ensure that our students remain calm. Remain calm. Is that who says that? Is that Kaze? I think it's Kaze who says that. Uh, I thought the two of them would be in here. Recently, Professor, I feel as though you've been a bit distant. It's like you're sort of floating above the clouds, separate from other people. And like you've got no interest at all in ever coming back down. Well, he is half goddess now. How can I help? Hey, don't worry. I thought maybe I'd ask and see what you'd say. The Holy Tomb, huh? I've worked here for years, and this is the first I've heard of it. I mean, it does make some sense. Sort of. Something about it is still weird. I understand now why they'd build the monastery in the mountainous center of Fodlin. 
Although, when the monastery was built, the kingdom and alliance weren't even around yet. But look how cleverly it was placed right in the middle of the empire, kingdom, and alliance. That's weird, right? It's almost like it's symbolic or something. Are you positive? Really? Your appearance is due to the influence of the Crest of Flames? Intriguing. Unfortunately, I have found no record of Nemesis's hair and eye color ever changing. However, if that transformation was brought on in part by the power of the Crest, that would be most... Well, I suppose interesting is too small a word. I don't think it was a Crest. I think it was just, you know, a Sothis. Still, it would be an absolutely exceptional discovery. To know for certain, we must investigate further. <laughs> so, close off. <laughs> what? A full physical is in order, yes? We need to know if this transformation affected you adversely. Don't worry, it won't hurt a bit. Oh, that's exactly what Linhar warned us about. <laughs> Funnily enough, his motivation is listed as maxed out. Does this have anything new to say? Nope, just still the Crest of Flames. Professor, oh, Professor I am so happy. <laughs> Your new hair and eye color suit you well. We make quite the pair. Well, he already had green hair before. But recently, I sense that things are a bit strange between Lady Rhea and my brother. Ah, uh, Byleth knows. You don't have to say brother. She wants to do something at the Holy Tomb. I do not know what, but... Hmm, whenever it has concluded... I hope they will return to their friendship, as it has always been. Hopefully she is not dead. Hmm. 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 <gasps> oh, Dusty Book of Fables is hers. Captain. Oh, Professor. How long have you been standing there? I didn't see you. I was just sorting through Captain Gerald's belongings. I haven't made much progress. I keep finding things that bring back memories. Clearing out this room of his belongings again, it's... It's not easy. Oh, this kind of hits hard for me in real life because my family has been clearing out a storage shed of um, stuff from my grandmother for years now. Seriously, the amount of stuff that people accumulate over their lives. Hmm. Hmm. Oh, this is oh introduction to... Oh, yeah, of course that's yours because you were one of the few people I couldn't talk to last week. Recruits! That's available now! Oh, Professor. Anything I can help you with, I will do whatever I can to serve you. Excellent. Leave it to me. And sad music gone. No matter how small the task is, I vowed to Gerald I would help you. Well, now seems like a fitting time. Okay, now you can check out your full profile. Merchant family, Gerald vanishes. There's nothing about you getting married in your personal history. Alright, I've already checked out your roster profile, didn't I? Excuse me. You haven't a thing to worry about. You have been gifted the power of the goddess. I just realized Byleth's actually taller than she is. Furthermore, you have overcome the death of your father, Gerald. And you have destroyed countless of our wicked foes. I am proud, so very proud of who you have become. <laughs> Once we finish the ritual at the Holy Mausoleum, all will be well. Oh, this still really worries me. Further, I am. But well, how about a bit of punching training? Hmm. Ah, it is you. I am sorry, but I have a lot on my mind. I would prefer to be alone right now. Oh, no recruitment yet. Yeah, I don't even really need to train actors anymore because Byla's already in a pretty great class. Speaking of which, uh, hmm. Nobody's motivated though, so I should probably use a lot of my points on, on meals, but I kind of want to train Faith a little. There you go, hidden talent. White magic Such avoid plus twenty. Within. Yeah, I'd heard that his faith talent didn't really give him anything that special. 
Oh, Lawrence. Oh, I've already seen this one on, on the Black Eagles route. It's pretty hilarious, so... Yeah, but... I might show that next time. Maybe some more punching training, because I really, really want to recruit Caspar. Although, recruiting Caspar without Linhart would just be cruel. D punching! Practice yields results. I can't even... Let me guess, you want this? Hey, I've Thought been so. looking for that. How'd you know? Isn't there like a Marvel character called Moon Knight who's pretty much Marvel's yeah, version of Batman? Be... Yes, this is mine. Yeah, I thought that was hers. Oh, um, I got a support with Marianne, didn't I? Yep. That one I haven't seen, so that'll be interesting. Hey, I kind of thought that was yours. Bitter Eats. Bitter Food Enthusiast, okay. Oh, of course you'd like Bitter Food. <laughs> but Dorothea does too. Guess I could also eat with Linhart just to get his motivation up. Not motivation, just to increase the chance of recruiting him. I think I like this. This is my favorite. Mm. Remember this, Professor. Professor, keep an eye on Ingrid. She'll swipe all the good bits for herself. I would do no such thing. Sure, I like eating, but not to the point of thievery. Oh, my favorite food. You've got to try this. Somehow, everything tastes... Oh, I I've got four now. Oh, this one. <sighs> I have things to say about that one. Yeah, I've seen that on my Black Eagles file. Huh. Right, uh, I know Bridget- oh, Fer I think it was Bridget and Ferdinand there last week. I just called Petra Bridget, didn't I? <laughs> yes, calling someone by their country of origin. Though, so my name is now Australia. Wait, there's five supports? Whoa, whoa, okay then. Yeah, we're getting lots of other house supports. Wow. Professor, that... I had lost the... Don't tell me I, I now have a have a support with her too. I mean, you know, it, it's that's probably the, probably true. <laughs> Let me just quickly check. It, it actually is true, isn't it? Yep, I knew it. I knew it. <laughs> Byleth is popular this episode. <laughs> okay, I have trained myself in punching. Can I recruit you now? Hey, Professor. No? No! Ah! Is his strength not good enough or something? Look at all those dot dot dots. Wow, holy crap, I'm gonna have a lot of supports next time. Uh. Did I already try and recruit you? Lady no, I didn't. Huh? However, I nope, uh, not even with that rank up in, in... Oh, Reason? You like Reason? Okay, oh, and that makes sense given your personality, but you're more of a faith specialist in gameplay. Oh, I still have one activity point. <laughs> Might as well do choir. I'm kind of interested to see more of Dorothea and Manuela's support, so let's do that. 
I'll keep my voice. This is me. Okay, so that's pretty much everything we can do now. Next time, yeah. Tons and tons. Oh, Dimitri's ready for A2. But of course, it's probably post time skip only. Yep, tons and tons and tons and tons of supports. In fact, I should probably try and recruit more of these people after I've supported with them. So, I will see you all next time.